हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for 18th of october the session will be quite interesting so do pay attention till the end as you will be learning multiple things that will be benefiting in your preparation so let's start first we are discussing that our ministry of environment forest and climate change they have recently launched a green credit program i repeat recently our ministry of environment forest and climate change they have launched a green credit program now what is this green credit program and why this is important remember this green credit program was notified on 12th of october right and it is an innovative market based mechanism designed to incentivize the environmental actions across diverse sectors by various stakeholders right so for a particular example if a particular factory is working or a particular company is working towards making the uh, waste they produce environment friendly right that means the waste they are producing is not getting directly into the environment into the river being before that it is getting processed so further credits will be provided to such initiatives for example when pollution is being created something is being burned in a factory then before directly launching that into the atmosphere that pollution that particular uh burnt material the gases they are being processed right so that the harmful material can be processed and the leftover can be released back into the atmosphere correct so remember this green credit program right and this will promote positive actions through market based mechanisms and it will generate green credit these credits are tradable and can be made available for trading on a domestic market platform right so it was ministry of environment forest and climate change who launched this green credit program right apart from this green credit program remember another initiative was launched that is eco mark scheme apart from this eco mark scheme now what is this eco mark scheme and why was this launched this eco mark scheme it will basically provide labeling for households and consumer products that meet specific environmental criteria while maintaining quality standards as per indian norms right this eco mark scheme this was under the eco mark certification rules this will enable the labeling of products with minimal environmental impact and it will encourage the consumers and manufacturers to choose eco friendly option right this will be marking or we can say labeling of the products correct based on their environmental impact correct then if we talk about this green credit program in this remember 
in this green credit program eight type of activities will be covered such as your tree plantation water management sustainable agriculture waste management air pollution etc correct so one is for getting green credit and second scheme that is eco mark scheme it is basically for labeling of products with the minimal environmental impact next Next is NSDC and Coca Cola India. They partner to launch Super Power Retailer Program. I repeat, NSDC, that is your National Skill Development Corporation, and Coca Cola India, they together partnered to launch Super Power Retailer Program, and this was launched under Skill India Mission. This was launched under Skill India Mission. Correct. Under this partnership, NSDC will assist Coca Cola India in expanding the Skill India Digital program by developing industry-specific training content, recruiting trainers, and providing necessary training infrastructure for a seamless learning experience. Super Power Retailer will empower small and micro retailers while training to expand businesses and enhance the consumer experience. Under this initiative, under one around one point four crore. Retailers will get 14 hours of quality retail training via Skill India Digital Portal. Then this will empower the retailer community in the states of Odisha and Uttar Pradesh. And the program is being launched on a pilot basis in Odisha. Pilot basis is being on the train uh, on a pilot basis that is on the first training basis. Like right? will it success or not? Right. So coming back, it is NSDC and Coca Cola India. They have partnered to launch Super Power Retailer Program, and it was under the Skill India Digital Mission. And it is to basically provide skills to the people and make them job specific ready. Right. Next. Next, we are talking about as you can see in the picture, we see Prime Minister Narendra Modi. President of India, Draupadi Murmu, ma'am, and in center is Her Excellency Dr. Samia Su Suluhu Hassan. Samia Suluhu Hassan. Who is she? She is the president of Tanzania. She is the president of Tanzania. Recently, she was on her visit to India from 8 to 11th of October, as you can see in the picture. and during her visit we saw multiple mous were signed between india and tanzania almost 6 mous were signed here and a 5 year defense corporation road map was also signed between india and tanzania then apart from this indian navy indian navy will be sharing white shipping information to the tanzania navy apart from this if i ask you about tanzania what is the capital dodoma is the capital of tanzania the currency that is used in tanzania is tanzanian shilling right and here you can see the president of tanzania that is dr samia suluhu hasan that was on her visit to india and during this she signed six mous with india and a five year defense cooperation was also signed moving on next next we are talking about east coast sagar kawach 02 exercise correct this exercise was conducted in tamil nadu puducherry and andhra pradesh remember this location east coast sagar kawach exercise this is a two day comprehensive coastal security exercise this is a coastal security exercise this was conducted in tamil nadu puducherry and andhra pradesh it is a two day long exercise it was conducted on 11th and 12th of october right and this was to assess the efficacy and robustness of the coastal security system in the response to the unconventional threat from the sea so as the name suggest East Coast Sagar exercise it is a coastal security exercise in this about 2500 personals including from Indian Navy Indian Coast Guard and your marine police fisheries customs international agencies lighthouses ports forest etc were engaged in this particular 
exercise. The Joint Operation Center in Vishakapatnam is the nodal hub to monitor all the coastal security operations and exercise in the operations of the sea. And we just saw that it was in Tamil Nadu, Puducherry and Andhra Pradesh, the location of this East Coast Sagar Kavach exercise. That is your coastal security exercise. Then this exercise was carried out under the leadership of Vice Admiral Rajesh Pandekar, who is the flag officer commanding commanding in chief of the Eastern Naval Command. And he is also the commander in chief for the coastal defense of East and Indian Navy ships, coastal guards, assets and other coastal security agencies were deployed to increase the surveillance in the sea. So this is your East Coast Sagar Kavach exercise. Also remember a Dornier aircraft was launched here in order to measure the or uh, in order to enhance the surveillance and if you remember Dornier 228 this is the aircraft that was gifted by Indian Navy to Sri Lankan Navy to enhance the surveillance in their area correct next next we are talking about Forbes India 100 rich list this is for 2023 and here the rich list was recently released and as you can see he is Mukesh Ambani and on the right is who is he Gautam Adani so this list was recently released and Mukesh Ambani was the richest person of India right he has the title for the richest Indian correct he has a net worth of around 68 billion dollar Mukesh Ambani then on second position who is he i correct here change the uh, valuation here it is of around 92 billion dollar correct it is just for an idea then on second position is as you can see in the picture gautam adani he has a net worth of around 68 billion dollar then on third is shivnadar fourth savitri jindal then radha krishan damani cyrus punawala and so on and apart from this remember if I ask you who turned out to be the youngest billionaire at the age of 37 and he's the co-founder of trading platform Zeroda, he will be Nikhil Kamath, correct? He was ranked 40th in this position with his brother Nitin, but remember he was the youngest billionaire at the age of 37 and he's the co-founder of trading platform Zeroda. Next is Global Finance Central Bank report card was released for 2023. Now, what is this Global Finance Central Bank report card? Remember, this is the report card is an annual publication by the Global Finance magazine that grades the central bank governors of 101 key countries, territories and districts. And who is our governor of central bank of RBI? Shaktikan Das. And remember, Shaktikan Das was here ranked A+. This is important. Mark this. That Shaktikan Das what was the grade of Shakti Khan Das in the Global Finance Central Bank report card for 2023? It was A+. Here you can see the grades are based on the scale from A to F with A representing excellent, excellent performance and F representing the outright failure. The grades are based on central bank governors success in inflation control, economic growth goals, currency stability and interest rate management. The central banker report card recognizes the central bank governors who have developed and implemented original creative and tenacious strategies that have outperformed their peers. So Shakti Khan Das was ranked or was rated A plus in this global finance central bankers report card for 2023. Correct. Next. And this was during the 30th annual best bank awards 2023 that were held in Morocco. Moving on, as you can see him in the picture, he is Daniel Nobua, right? Daniel Nobua, he has been elected as the youngest president of Ecuador. I repeat, he is just 35 years of age, Daniel Nobua, and he has been elected as the president of Ecuador. And he is the youngest president of Ecuador. And here the presidential term is of four years long. Moving on, next, as you can see him in the picture, he is Christopher Luxon and he has been elected as the Prime Minister of New Zealand, right? He belongs to the Central Right National Party of the New Zealand and he is the 42nd Prime Minister of New Zealand. He will succeed whom? He will be succeeding Chris Hipkins, right? So, 
Christopher Luxon, as you can see him in the picture, he is the new Prime Minister of New Zealand and he will be replacing or succeeding Chris Hipkins. Next, next remember Mohammed Shami has been appointed as the Brand Ambassador of Puma India. Brand Ambassador of Puma India. Right? And remember Mohammed Shami, he will be promoting here Puma shoes, clothing and accessories through various activities and campaign. Mohammed Shami is a cricketer. He plays for Indian cricket team. Right? And he was introduced to or he was launched in 2013. He was or he made his international debut in 2013. Then apart from this, some other ambassadors of Puma are Virat Kohli. Then Usain Bolt, he is a very famous sprinter. Footballer Neymar Jr. and Sunil Chetri. Boxer Maricom. Then cricketers Harman Preet Kaur and Harleen Deol. She, they are for women cricketers. And parachuter Avni Lekhra. So these are the ambassadors of Puma that you need to remember. And now Mohammad Shami has also been appointed as the brand ambassador of Puma India. Next, next is NASA has launched the spacecraft to study metal asteroid site. And remember, the name of the aircraft that was launched to study the metal asteroid site is the Psyche aircraft, right? The name of the aircraft launched here is Psyche aircraft, correct? And this is to basically study the metal asteroid that is Psyche. And it was launched by USA. It was launched on 13th of October. And this is NASA's first mission to study an asteroid that has more metal rock or ice. Right? Then NASA selected this psych mission on to January 2017 as one of the mission for their discovery program. And the discovery program is a series of relatively low cost missions to explore the solar system. This mission is led by Arizona State University of USA. Correct? That is Psyche. And remember, this Psyche, uh, uh, this Psyche aircraft, spacecraft, this will be reaching the Psyche metal asteroid that is between the Mars and Jupiter. And this Psyche metal asteroid is basically orbiting around the sun and it will take almost six years to reach this psych metal asteroid correct next next is former chief election commissioner ms gill as you can see him in the picture has recently passed away he's a padma vibhushan awardee and 11th chief election commissioner 11th chief election commissioner of india and remember he recently passed away at the age of 87 in new delhi he was born in 1936 in Punjab, correct? And he's a 1958 batch IAS officer of Punjab cadre. And remember, he was honored with Padma Vibhushan in 2000. Padma Vibhushan in 2000, correct? So remember, former chief election commissioner, that is the 11th chief election commissioner of India, MS Gill recently passed away. Next, former Finnish president Aitasari passed away as you can see him in the picture. Finnish president and a Nobel Peace Laureate Mariti Atisari recently passed away and he was the 10th president of Finland. He was the 10th president of Finland from 1994 till 2000. Correct? He was the 10th president of Finland that is as you can see him in the picture that is Mariti Ahitsari who recently passed away. He passed away at the age of 86. Correct? Next. Then remember he received the Nobel Peace Prize when this question can be also asked. It, he received this in 2008. Next is Oscar and Emmy. Oscar and Emmy nominated American actress Piper Laurie has recently passed away. Piper Laurie nominated to Oscar three times or that is he nominated three times for Oscar Academy Awards of the Academy Motion Picture Arts and Science. She was the first nominated in 1961 for the movie Hustler. Later she was nominated for two more movies Carrie of 1976 and Children of a Lesser God in 1986. Then off if we talk about Emmy Awards, out of nine nominations she received one Emmy Award. 
and in 1987 piper lorry won the emmy for outstanding supporting actress in mini series or a special offer performance that is promise correct for promise she received the outstanding supporting actress emmy award and remember directly that pampi uh, piper lorry she recently passed away then next comes to your important days world white cane day as you can see in the picture world white cane day also known as white cane safety day it is annually observed across the globe on 15th of october and it is to promote accessibility for people with disabilities and to increase public awareness of the rules of conduct for the visually impaired people correct so i repeat world white cane day is observed on 15th of october next next is world students day and as you can see in the picture he is dr apj abdul karam and on his birth anniversary remember we observe the world students day so world students day is annually observed on 15th of october that is to commemorate the birth anniversary of the 11th president of india right he was the 11th president of india and he was from 2002 till 2007 correct he is also known as missile man of india dr apj abdul kalam and this year 15th of october it marks the 92nd birth anniversary of dr apj abdul kalam dr apj abdul kalam received padma bhushan in 1981 for civil service padma vibhushan in 1990 for science and engineering and bharat ratna in 1997 for science and engineering only correct next next is world food day when do we observe world food day on 16th of october we observe world food day and it is to highlight the millions of people worldwide who cannot afford a healthy diet and the need for regular access to nutritious food so 16th of october is observed as world food day and there is an organization for un that is food and agriculture organization fao in the un and they commemorates the establishment of this so or basically this 16th october 8 marks the establishment of food and agriculture organization that was set up in 1945 then there is a theme here that you can remember for world food day that is water is life water is food leave no one behind i repeat water is life water is food leave no one behind this is the theme for the 2023 world food day So friends that's all for the day now let's go for a quick one liner revision ministry of environment forest and climate change launches green credit program and eco mark scheme to encourage eco friendly actions nsdc and coca cola india partnered to launch super power retailer program her excellency dr samia sulu hasan president of united republic of tanzania state visit to india that was from 8 to 10th of october multiple mous were signed here and a five year defense cooperation was also signed then east coast sagar kavach 0 to 23 this is a coastal security exercise held in andhra pradesh tamil nadu and puducherry it is a coastal security exercise basically then forbes india's 100 rich list was released and mukesh ambani has topped the list with 92 billion dollar rbi governor shaktikant das received an award for A plus rank in the Global Finance Central Bankers Report ka 2023 question can be asked that what is the grade for RBI's Governor Shakti Kant Das it is A plus then Daniel Noba uh, became the youngest president elect of Ecuador next then Christopher Luxon has been elected as the 42nd Prime Minister of New Zealand Mohammad Shami appointed as the brand ambassador of Puma India NASA's Psyche spacecraft was launched to study metal asteroid Psyche and it will take 6 years to reach this particular psyche metal asteroid that is between mars and jupiter and it is uh, orbiting around the sun then padma vibhushan awardi and 11 chief election commissioner of india ms gill has recently passed away mariti atisari the former finnish president and nobel peace winner has passed away oscar and emmy nominated american actress piper lorry passed away white world white cane day observed 15th october World Students Day on fifteenth October and World Food Day on sixteenth of October. So, friends, these were your important current affairs for the day. Now, let's shift to some revision current affairs. Next is Bhopal's Mahila Thana became India's first women-centric police station to get ISO nine thousand one two thousand fifteen certification. Now, what is this certification? Why this is important? And what was the need for this? 
certification so remember this iso certification it is issued for 3 years right and it is mahila thana that is women's police station of mopal madhya pradesh it became the first women centric police station that got this international standard for uh, international organization for standardization standardization that is iso 9001215 certification correct now what is this important what are the features right if we talk about this here various upgrades were implemented and including the provision of separate rooms and dedicated computer systems for investigating officers and staffs minimizing potential risk during meetings and operation cctv cameras were installed throughout the premises of police station and the station was redesigned to be more victim friendly a swing house has been set up for children and more than 5 toilets have been built also a dedicated feeding room was set up to serve the needs of the women and this iso certification remember it specifies the requirement of an ideal quality management system and provides a framework for organizations to improve the efficiency enhance customer satisfaction and achieve a better improvement correct so with the uh, establishment of all these things we saw that bhopal's mahila thana became the country's first women police station to get an iso certification also remember with this it became the second iso certified police station in bhopal earlier in may miss road miss road police station this is in bhopal only they also got the first or they got the first iso 29001 certification correct and which is the second and the first women centric police station to get the iso certification it is bhopal's mahila thana right it is in bhopal madhya pradesh next if i ask you about iso international standard for organization tell me where is the headquarter of it it is in geneva switzerland and it was established in 1947 next is arcon and rites they became the 15th and 16th navratna cpsc important this line itself is important two questions from here first question which is the 15th navratna cpsc or which is the 16th navratna cpsc so and so that is arcon and rites respectively now similarly if i ask you arcon and rites they became which number of navratna cpsc it is your 15th and 16th respectively if we talk about arcon arcon is a specialized construction company that covers the entire range of construction activities and services in the infrastructure sector and it became the 15th navratna company cpsc then rites it is limited uh, limited it is a multidisciplinary engineering and consultancy organization and it is the 16th navratna among cpscs if we talk about arcon chairman and managing director here will be brijesh kumar gupta headquarter is in new delhi and it was established in 1976 if we talk about rights here the chairman and managing director will be rahul mithal headquarter is in gurugram haryana and where when was it established in 1974 then what is this navratna scheme basically right this navratna scheme was launched in 1997 and it is to identify and support the cpscs with comparative advantages in becoming global giants right these cpscs they are given greater autonomy and flexibility in their operations in order to improve their performance and competitiveness moving on next next we are talking about president's colors award recently our uh, chief of army staff general manoj pandey who is our chief of army staff recently presented the president's color award and this president's color award is also known as nishan right so this was presented to whom this president's color award it was presented to third battalion right naga regiment's third battalion i repeat third battalion of naga regiment was recently awarded with the president's color award right and who presented it it was presented by chief of army staff general manoj pandey correct then this was during a color presentation parade that was held in kumau 
रेजिमेंटल सेंटर दैट इज इन रानीखेत उत्तराखंड राइट ड्यूरिंग दिस इवेंट प्रेजिडेंट्स कलर अवार्ड वॉज प्रजेंटेड टू थर्ड बटालियन ऑफ नागा रेजिमेंट इंपॉर्टेंट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट then next thing remember it is best this award president's color or nishan it is best upon the military unit in recognition of exceptional service rendered to the country in both peace and war naga regiment's 3rd battalion was created in 2009 in haldiwani situated in the kumau hills which were home to the kumau and naga regiments the first battalion of the naga regiment was raised in ranikhet in 1970 and naga regiment's 3rd battalion has received vishist seva medal also right so vishist seva medal also and here we are seeing 3rd battalion of naga regiment was awarded with president's color award and another thing to remember here is that this award is also known as nishan next also if i ask you which was the first regiment or which force to receive the president's color award by the then president dr rajender prasad in 1951 so it will be our indian navy right indian navy became the first force to receive the president's color award it and it was presented by dr rajendra prasad and it was in 1951 next next we are talking about sac isro right what is this sac that is space application center and remember this space application center is under isro and recently remember ahmedabad gujarat based space application center so where is this space application center it is in ahmedabad gujarat correct they have recently signed a memorandum of understanding and it is for 3 years and this mou was signed by with which organization navy tech what is this navy tech this is navy wireless technologies private limited this is a leading pioneer lifi technology company what is this lifi we know there is a term wifi that is wireless internet provider right so that is wireless fidelity fi stands for fidelity f i d e l i t y so this is the full form of wifi that is wireless fidelity now what is this lifi stands for lifi is your light fidelity correct that means in order to provide internet high speed internet using light i repeat what is this life fight fi lifi that is light fidelity that is in order to provide internet using high speed or using light or basically we can say to use light based high speed communication for satellite communication in space not just internet because internet is an extended version of communication correct so coming back sac of isro that is ahmedabad gujarat based space application center of isro they recently signed an mou and this is for 3 years it is with navtech technologies this is also an the based company and this is for lifi that is light fidelity this will be used for high speed communication for satellite communication in space correct how this lifi work is that is a beam of or basically we can say a data is transmitted using a beam of lights right this makes it suitable for both indoor and outdoor environments that offers ultra fast data connection correct so take a note of it then next thing remember if we take uh, talk about sac that is space application center who is the director here nilesh m desai headquarters is in ahmedabad gujarat and it was established in 1972 correct so mark this this question is important next is first ever bsnl bts on the world's highest battlefield first of all tell me where where is the world's highest battlefield located this is in siachen glacier this is at siachen glacier so remember first ever bsnl bts that is base trans receiver station has been set up on the world's highest battlefield that is at siachen glacier and where is this this is in ladakh correct the tower was inaugurated on the 6th october 2023 and it will provide mobile communication services to the soldiers at an altitude of over 15500 feet this radio trans receiver that links mobile devices to a cellular network is known as bts that is base trans receiver station here this bts sends and receive radio signals from mobile devices before converting them to digital signals that are subsequently directed to other network device or the internet 
Also, the Indian Army also conducted demining operation in the three areas that is Fobrang, Yorbu, Lukung village along the LAC in Leh district and destroyed almost 175 mines. Correct. So, this is information and it is the BSNL that has set up the world's highest BTS in Siachen Glacier, Ladakh. Friends, now let's move to the homework section. It will be a quite interesting section and I want to see maximum participation of the students in the homework section. The MMDR Act which was seen in news is associated with which sector and give me the full form of this MMDR Act. Next, what is the name of the autonomous organization formed to promote youth deployment in India? Third, the cashew of which state UT recently got their GI tag. So these are the three homework questions friend and I just said that I want to see maximum participation from you all all the students watching do need to comment the homework answer of these three questions so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.